Descriptions of the column sounds. The chart of the column sounds given above groups them by where the sounds are produced in the mouth. For example, all of the sounds in the first column, P, ejected P, M, ejected M, are pronounced with both lips together. The following describes the consonant sounds column by column. You can hear all of these examples spoken by native speakers on the Calm Language website. P, ejected P, M, glottalized M. These four sounds are produced with the lips together. In Clallam, the letter P is the same as in the English word pop, and it's in the Clallam word cat. Pish psh. Pish psh. Pish psh. Pish psh. A P with an apostrophe is an ejective P. It's like a P, but the sound is ejected out of the mouth with a strong pop, and it's in the Clallam word flounder. Owie. 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 The letter M is the same as in English, like at the beginning and end of the English word mom. It's also in the Clallam word for basket. Mahoy. 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 T, ejected T, N, glottalized N. These four sounds are produced with the tip of the tongue against the area above the gums behind the upper teeth. The letter T is the same as the sound at the beginning and end of the English word tot. It's in the Clallam word for fork or spear. T chen. T chen. T chen. T chen. A T with an apostrophe is called an ejective T. It's like the T, but ejected out of the mouth with a strong pop. It's in the Clallam word to sing. Aim. 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 The letter N is the same sound that's at the beginning and end of the English word none. It's in the Clallam word to laugh. Nudging. 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 C. Ejected C. S. These sounds are produced with the tongue in about the same position as for T, ejected T, and N. The letter C is pronounced as a combination of the letters T and S, like at the end of the English word hats. It's in the Clallam word for hands. Ties. Ties. Size. Size. The letter S is the same as the sound at the beginning and end of the English word sis. It's in the Clallam word for door. Sush. 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 C wedge, ejected C wedge, S wedge, Y, glottalized Y. These are produced with the tongue towards the front part of the roof of the mouth, a little farther back than for T. A C with a little V on top is called a C with a wedge. It's the same as the sound at the beginning and the end of the English word church. It's in the Clallam word for teeth. Chens. 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 A C with a wedge that's ejective is just like the C with a wedge with a ch sound, but is ejected out of the mouth with a strong pop. It's in the Clallam word for plate. ch a we ch a we ch a we ch a we An S with a V on the top is called an S with a wedge and makes the same sound that's at the beginning of the English words sugar and shoe. It's also in the Clallam word for walk. Stung. 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 The letter Y is the same as it is in the English alphabet, like at the beginning of the English word yes. It's in the Clallam word for heart. Yenowis. 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 Bard lambda, bard l, l. These three sounds are produced with the tip of the tongue positioned as for t, 
but with the air flowing around the side of the tongue. This next letter is the most different looking symbol in the Klaum alphabet. It's called a barred lambda. It's ejective and it's like a TL combination sound produced with a strong pop. It's in the word for butterfly. The next letter is called a barred L and is described as a juicy sound. Hold your tongue in position for a T and blow. It's in the Klalem word for haircut. The letter L is very rare in Klalem and it's the same as in the English language. It's in the Klalem word for sheep. Lamatu. 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 Okay, this sound is very rare in Klalem. It occurs only in a few words borrowed from Chinook jargon, English, French, or some other language. It is the same as the sound at the beginning and end of English kick. K with a raised W, ejected K with a raised W, X with a raised W, W, glottalized W. These sounds are produced with the lips rounded and the back of the tongue raised towards the back of the roof of the mouth. A K with a raised W makes a qu sound like at the beginning of the word quick. It's in the Klalem word for spring salmon. Quechen. 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 A K with a raised W and an apostrophe is an ejective K with a raised W. It sounds just the same as a K with a W, but it's ejected out of the mouth with a strong pop. It's in the Klalem word for eagle. Quangsen. 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 The X with a raised W is a sound that sounds like the beginning of the English word which. It's in the Klalem word to jump. Wheaten. The letter W is the same as the sound at the beginning and end of the English word wow. It's in the Klalem word for frog. Wahash. 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 Q. Ejected Q. Back X. End with a hook glottalized end with a hook. These sounds are all produced with the tongue pulled extremely far back in the mouth. A letter Q in Klalem is similar to the sound at the beginning of the English word call, but the tongue is touching farther back in the throat. It's in the Klalem word for I. Kying. 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 A Q with an apostrophe is called an ejective Q. It's just like the Q in the back of your throat, but it's ejected out of the mouth with a strong pop. It's in the Klalem word for cougar. Waits up. Waits up. Waits up. Waits up. An X with a dot underneath is called a back X, and it's unlike any English sound. It makes a rough throat clearing sound. It's in the Klalem word raccoon. Hikes. 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 An N with a hook is like an NG combination sound. It's similar to the sound at the end of the English word song. It's in the Klalem word for nose. Nuxen. 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 Q with a raised W, ejected Q with a raised W, back X with a raised W. These sounds are similar to the preceding sounds, but are produced with the lips rounded. A Q with a raised W sounds like the Q in the back of the throat, but you make the sound with your lips rounded. It's in the word log. Clay. 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 
play. A Q with an apostrophe and a raised W is ejective. It's like the Q with a raised W, but ejected out of the mouth with a strong pop. It's in the Clallam word for ear. Quine. 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 The back X with a raised W is produced the same as a back X, but with the lips rounded, like a sound. And it's the Clallam word for paddle. Hong it. Hong it. Hong it. Hong it. Glottal stop, H. These sounds are both produced deep in the throat, right at the vocal cords. The symbol that looks kind of like a question mark is called a glottal stop. It sounds like a catch or an abrupt stoppage of air in the throat. This sound is what separates the two vowel sounds in the English word uh o. Oh. It's also in the Clallam word, to eat. Eichlin. 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 The letter H in Clallam is the same as in English, and it's in the Clallam word for deer. Hopped. 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 I, E, Schwa, A, U. These are the vowels of Clallam. The letter I is the same as the I in the English word machine and is in the Clallam word for sleep. Eat. 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 The letter E in Clallam is rare and usually occurs before a glottal stop. It has a E eh sound. It occurs in the Clallam word for young man. Sweaters. 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 The upside down E is called a schwa. It sounds like the vowels in the English word above. It's in the Clallam word for the number two. Chessa. 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 The letter A in Clallam is usually slightly longer than the other vowels. It is pronounced like the vowel in the English word call. It's in the Clallam word for house. Aing. 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 The letter U is usually pronounced like the U in the English word tune or the oo sound in the English word hoot. It also sometimes sounds more like the vowels of the English word boat, especially when it comes before a glottal stop. The letter U is in the Clallam word for cow. Moose moose. Moose moose. Moose moose. Moose moose. Hartnixt a Queen's Hartlam. Nist Aimuts and Queer Tio Hanash.